Good morning, No Excuses Scholars. It's No Excuse University College Thursday, October 7th, 2021. Our college vocabulary word is fairness. That is treating all people equally and applying reasonable consequences only when the rules are broken is an example of fairness. And like Miss Michelle and myself have said this week, fair isn't everybody getting the same thing. Fair is everybody getting what they need to be successful. So ask yourself, what do you need to be successful? What does your friend need to be successful? It might not be the same thing, and that's okay, because it's fairness. And self-discipline is our character trait we're working on all this month. And again, just uh, really control yourself, like this little sign says here, control yourself, and it includes doing your work and doing the best you can. And like Miss Michelle said, we are the top one of the one of the top ranking schools in the entire Riverside District for reaching our dream box goals. I mean, wow, 96% are participating and our average number of lessons is 5.1. <laughs> you guys, you're awesome. That is what it's all about and to get a message from somebody in the district that says, "Good job, High Grove." We love it. So as Miss Michelle said and promised, you guys get a treat. So sometime today, you'll all be getting a, a little small little treat from Miss Michelle and myself. And uh, so we're excited to pass that on to you. So thank you, congratulations. You guys are awesome. Keep it up, keep up the good work. And speaking of good work, let's take a look at Jorge Ramos as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. He is a Mexican-born American journalist and author. He wrote a book, and he's one of the most influential people in America. How about that? We think about um, social media influencers. This guy is considered a, somebody who really influences all of America. And he's on Univision, and he really works for Hispanic people's rights through his reporting, and he's a strong advocate and believer of increasing literacy among Hispanic Americans. And uh, he's actually one of, he wrote a book called Wake Up Reading, or let's see if I can say this right, Despierta Leonedo, and it's uh, one of his books. And it's the first book club in the history of the Hispanic television. So, hey, wow, love this guy. So anyways, uh, thank you, Jorge Ramos, for being such a great example. And speaking of good examples, October is National Bullying Prevention Month, and we need you all to not be a bully. And we've been having way too many issues and problems with kids fighting and not being nice to each other. And so we're gonna show you a quick video from our sixth graders about what not to do. So it's National Bullying Prevention Month, so sixth graders, take it away. I didn't see it either. Nobody asked to move there. This is an A and B conversation, so you can see your way out of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's such a good one. Yeah, he is so annoying. You also can talk to us, but you can't talk to us because your shoes are ugly and you don't have cool clothes. Look at the picture that I posted him on Instagram. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. Yeah, he does look like a troll. You know, that's not very nice of you. How would you feel if someone was being mean to you? Or calling names or was annoying you. Or posting mean things about you on social media. Don't know, it's just funny. It's actually not funny anymore. You have been hurting my feelings. Bullying is mean and you shouldn't, shouldn't do it. I'm sorry for doing that. We, we can, can stop, stop bullying by standing up for others and not being, being part of it. All right, thank you sixth graders. Well done. Thanks for teaching us about not being a bully. And October 20th, we're going to wear orange to show our support for kindness and acceptance. And again, speaking of expectations and being awesome, we on the bus, please wear the mask at all times, seat belts at all times, put your food away. No phones or Chromebooks should be out on the bus. Just sit there and you can talk to each other, but be nice and uh, follow these rules. And speaking of rules, again, please watch out for the restrooms. And girls, I'm talking to you out on the playground. The classroom right next door hears everything. I was actually there uh, just before school, and someone was just opening the door and closing it to use it. And it was really loud. So girls, please help out on the 
the playground out there, the girls' bathroom out there, just be careful. Just go in there, do what you need to do, wash your hands and get out and do not go in there to play, okay? And please wear your mask and please pick up the trash. All right, it is time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Go ahead and stand up, put your hand over your heart, and let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you, everyone. You can have a seat. And since it is No Excuse College Day, we're taking a look at Pepperdine University and uh, Miss Phillips, her first grade class. This is the university that they represent. Guys, this is a really pretty campus. Take a look at this picture up at the left hand side here at the top. It is literally looking over the ocean and it's in the hills. Um, this is in, in Los Angeles in the right on the coast there. It is gorgeous, you guys. This is, if you want to go to a place that has good academics and really a pretty place to go to, this is it. You can't lose with this one. Just take a look at the pictures here and even look at their cool mascot, which is the waves. And let's take a look at them. So Pepperdine University, they are the number 49th best national universities in the country. That's amazing because there are hundreds, if not thousands of uh, universities of Pepperdine's up there. They have only 3,500 people who enrolled. It's not a very big place. And uh, male to female ratio means one male and there's actually 1.4 females. So there's a little more females there. And student faculty ratio, there's 13 students for every one instructor professor. That's a great amount. Think about your classes. You have 25, 30 or more kids in it and one teacher. They have less uh, classes, less kids in their class um, there at Pepperdine. So think about this place. Their mission is Pepperdine's a Christian university committed to the highest standards of academic excellence and Christian values where students are strengthened for lives of purpose, service, and leadership. So thank you, Ms. Phillips. Great college. Here's our joke of the day. This comes from Anthony in Ms. Simpson's class. And he asks, what do you call a person without a body or a nose? What? What do you call a person without a body or a nose? Man, they can't smell and they don't have a body? That's weird, huh? So what do you think? Any guesses? Let's find out. Nobody knows. That's what, that's what we call them. Nobody knows. So thank you, Anthony. And thank you, everyone, for sending in jokes. I know people have been telling me jokes and giving them to me. I'll get to them as soon as I can, but thank you, everyone. And scholars, of course, never, never, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Have a great day.